Somewhere about a year ago, I submitted an idea that I had for ProPresenter 7 to Renewed Vision, not really thinking it might ever come to fruition. But lo and behold, here we are with ProPresenter 7.10, and it's even better than what I asked for. If you're someone who's followed this channel for a minute, then you probably know that I like to utilize the timeline function in ProPresenter 7. And we've used this all the way back in Pro 6 to automate a little bit of our lyrics and MIDI cues sometimes, along with our tracks in our worship services. And it's always just had these little quirks and headaches that I've had annoyances about, not being able to really sync video, um, everything being tied to slide recording cues, and I, I just submitted this idea of like, hey, can we add some more lanes on the timeline, like a MIDI lane and a video lane? And they went above and beyond, and now we can add basically anything that you can add cue into your slides. You can now do that in the timeline or even in the video's actual timeline in the inspector. So I want to jump in and just show you kind of how we are using that. And then I also want to offer, if Renewed Vision is watching this, a couple of... Uh, improvements that I think would really help even take this to the next level for people like me that are using this. So here we are in ProPresenter 7.10, the newest update. We've got our main output, our stage display, our stream, and then this is just our hallway announcements that are rolling all through the Decklink Duo. But the secret sauce here is in this timeline. So make sure, I wish these icons didn't look too similar, but uh, we've got our timeline here, and now we have four different lanes. You have your slide lane, uh, like a media lane, which is, that's a video right there. Then you have your audio lane, and then just like your cue lane. And so all of these, if we zoom in here, are MIDI notes. So we went a little crazy doing Tremble's MIDI cues, sending over to Jans Vista exact timings. But you can see here that we got all of our lyrics that will be fired automatically, pre-recorded and then our backing video. And so that has been a huge update. You see previously, if we were utilizing a Lyric video with the audio inside of that, there was no good way to time out things. You would have to start at the beginning and let it play, and hopefully you, you clicked at the right time. But if you wanted to adjust things, you had to start the video back over because if you hit play in the middle of the timeline, it wouldn't pick up where that video was because it was firing off of a slide. Now, you can click anywhere in the timeline, and that video is going to show. So if we click play, you can see it just started right there, and it's firing off our MIDI notes. So I love that you can go in here, add actions, any of your normal add actions you can do, but we are utilizing the MIDI cues note on uh, for that. And so you can add macros if you have different lighting looks saved as macros, or if you want to add somebody's you know, title card onto a welcome slide or something like that, you can even do that. So I love this update, but there are three things that I think they could even do to the timeline to improve it even more. So let me just show you those real quick. I wish that the media that you add to this layer would show a little thumbnail here so you could see what that was, like you would in Premiere or something like that. For our audio tracks, I wish that this right here had a waveform in the waveform, kind of like I submitted in my example. That way, whenever I'm programming things, I can kind of tell by the waveform. And the third thing would be that I wish that we could copy and paste these MIDI cues because you can see how many MIDI cues we built here for this song, which is great because it's done, it's finished. But say I want to do the chorus MIDI cues every time, I would love to be able to click and drag and select those, then come back over here and do paste. And that would just make programming so much quicker and easier. And this is going to save us a ton of time uh, just for the fact that we can do it all in ProPresenter. Now, the risk of doing that is if ProPresenter crashes, you know, your, your MIDI cues are not firing any longer for your lighting console. But if ProPresenter crashes, we're pretty much going freestyle worship at that point anyways. So that is a risk that you take doing it all in ProPresenter. But in my opinion, the less failure points that I add along the way, whether I'm like sending from playback on stage through you know, uh, some type of ethernet uh, 
MIDI device that's now coming to ProPresenter and then it's also sending to Jans and it's going over the network and I don't know, just, I, I like the idea of, I pull up Trimble in ProPresenter 7 and it's got everything ready to go. We, and it's gonna play it all automatically with the click of play. Now, if you wanna see how I'm controlling and launching all of these tracks with a foot pedal, that is uh, MIDI Bluetooth, or like I've got it now, hardwired with ethernet, click this video right here and it will show you how to do that. It's a really cool tool that I've been loving because I can be a control freak when it comes to starting and stopping our worship times because I'm, hey, the worship leader. So, all right guys, remember we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory. Keep it up, Renewed Vision. I appreciate this update.